Okay, I'm going to go over how to create a basic envelope deformer. So this works best for large things you want to sort of manipulate. So think about hair, skirts, uh, anything like that. So you want to think about this is a form I want to affect the outside of it and not the inside of it. So say for example I want to do a skirt type drawing and I want to put the envelope deformer on it. Again I'm going to go up to my wrench and hammer, my rigging tool, and again you can just use the automatic mode or you can set the envelope mode and again you're going to figure out where is the starting point that your object is going to basically start from and if you just sort of start clicking so it's going to start here and again as you make the different points you, you know you can be as detailed or as simple as you want in terms of the the amount of control points that you give yourself but just know that the more control points you have yes the more control you have but then that's more points that you have to animate so again sort of try to balance what makes sense in in the large scheme of things uh, let's see did that connect hit enter so again to kind of try it out you know go here and you can kind of play with the bezier points and sort of see how this all did so you could sort of animate you know something flapping in the wind uh, if you use the cutter tool with it, you could most likely put uh, a texture on it. So you can't do it with a bitmap layer, but if you do a vector layer and you put a like a texture or some sort of pattern mask, that would allow you to use the cutter tool, mask out the texture, and sort of manipulate it like this. Again, you would have to put the animate mode on for any of these keyframes to take. If you want to move this, you would either have to move this sort of little uh, wagon wheel base of it, as it were, if it lets me select it, or maybe not, it's proving me wrong. Um, again, my best advice would be to throw it on a peg and then you're going to basically move that peg around. If not, what you're going to do is you're going to select the drawing by mistake and you're going to get this sort of funky stuff. So if you need to move the whole thing, make sure it's on a peg and that you're not selecting the drawing uh, layer itself. And uh, that's how you create an envelope deformer.